A micro pickle is an adult erection that's only three inches tall. I am Dr. Ed Zimmerman, Aesthetic Revolution Las Vegas in Las Vegas, Nevada. We have 5,300 square feet of fun dedicated to the safe delivery of aesthetic procedures. Apparently I am TikTok famous as the Dick Doc on TikTok and we talk a lot about girth and male enhancement. Bring me your man parts. I can help. We have nearly 2 million followers who want to know more about penis, erectile dysfunction, penis enhancement, girth, length, priaprism, phimosis, paraphimosis, just about every topic penis there is. And of course, the analogous female procedures, but mainly guys, although about half of our followers are women. There are both surgical procedures, which involve making an incision and actually putting in a celastic hemi-sleeve that is sewn into the length of the penis. So the penis is always semi-erect, which can be good or bad, depending on the person's uh, thought about it. Another way of treating this is we volumize that potential space between the hydraulic shaft and then the skin that wraps around the penis. So by putting volume in that potential space, be it your own fat or fillers, we can cause a more natural, potentially, looking penis. Okay, so that's an interest, that's a Vegas story. So for the professional who walked in unexpectedly at home and found his wife in bed with another person, in addition to putting her stuff out in the hot sun and asking her to leave post haste, he decided he needed to construct a revenge body. And so when we did his high def lipo, we took all that fat and we put nearly 100 cc's of his own fat, fat slurry, into his pickle. That was impressive. I have never done a penis reduction surgery. Over the last decade, we've seen big, small, long, thin, thick, short, big head, little head, various proportions, with and without various amounts of foreskin, I think the range of normal is really quite large. And that's reassuring to many guys as well and showing them what a resting 3.61 inches around normal girth and normal length of flaccid of four inches or so, right, really is, is reassuring to most guys because we have been sold by the media uh, the need to all be six inches around and six to eight inches long. And that's really several standard deviations out of the norm. Probably the largest one around at this point has a girth of about eight and a half inches. That's, that's, that's a lot around. <laughs> God. Uh, <laughs> You know, it, that's a, the, the size of someone's penis is a, is a genetic measurement, just like the size of your head, the, size, the length of your arm. Um, those are all things that we don't have a lot of control over. So it actually starts in utero, depending on how much testosterone your body was exposed to at, dur at different parts of stages of gestation. These procedures vary in price depending on what you're doing. You may be a person who can have your own fat put in your pickle or other places. That would be one price for getting the fat and moving it versus a product that you get off the shelf. The off the shelf products in the United States cost more per ounce than gold. So to put it in perspective, your pickle procedure may run anywhere from five to nearly 10 grand uh, if you're using an off the shelf product. One of the things I think that guys are insecure about is shrinkage for whatever reason, whether it's temperature, um, it's pretty hot in Vegas most of the time, but it happens. And, you know, certainly as we as a population have gotten heavier, penises are being hidden, turtled, if you will, by that pooch of fat that surrounds the base of the penis. And penises, a proportion of them are always showers, a proportion of them are always growers. They're probably more growers than showers in the guys that come in for us. So if we can get them an extra inch to inch and a half of visible length, get rid of that fat collar around the base of the, the penis, and then add to it by inflating them from a grower to a shower, just by adding some girth, they can end up happier with their external appearance. 
If someone was insecure about their penis, I think we need to explore the reason for the insecurity. You know, the perfect penis is in the eye of the beholder, and whether the beholder is the one wearing the penis or the one looking at the penis is part of the answer to that question. Certainly, the symmetry, the angle, the color, the definition, whether we have veins or no veins showing, those are all things that go into what is beauty. There is a mathematical formula, but I'm not sure that it applies to penises.